So tomorrow here in New York City, former President Trump is expected to get back in court after closing arguments are set to begin. Here to react with what to expect, Trump attorney Will Scharf. Uh, Will, thanks so much for joining the program. Uh, what's going to happen in the courtroom? I mean, it's been a week, and they've been talking with family and friends. Hopefully not about the case. Yeah, look, there are a lot of scheduling issues that have been present really throughout this trial. It's been a bit scattershot in that respect. But look, our plan is to focus on the evidence. Uh, in closing arguments tomorrow, you're going to hear us lay out uh, really a full view of what the evidence in this trial has actually been. And if you just look at the evidence, if you sort of screen out all the tabloid gossip and all of the media sensationalism, the evidence shows that President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong, that he's absolutely innocent of the crimes alleged in the indictment, and that the prosecution has abjectly failed to meet its burden uh, of proving beyond a reasonable doubt that any crime occurred here. So we believe that the facts are on our side, that the evidence is on our side, and I believe that any fair jury would speedily acquit President Trump because this is not a case that should have ever been brought in the first place. Will, there's a motion that was already put into place to dismiss the case because no crime was presented before they even pass it uh, on to the jury. Do you expect the court to rule in your favor there, or are you guys prepared for the jury at this point? I think a fair judge would dismiss this case just because of how little evidence, little real evidence has been introduced over the course of this entire trial. Uh, we believe that Judge Mershon obviously has irretrievable biases. Uh, we've seen that play out in court in a number of different ways. I think he should have re recused off of the case, and uh, that's an issue that we plan on continuing to press. Uh, a directed verdict here, uh, dismissal of the charges before it even gets to the jury, uh, would be a, a just outcome. Uh, but we're prepared to take this case to the jury, and we hope that the jury uh, stands up for what's right, uh, objectively reviews the evidence that's actually been introduced to trial, and if they do so, we believe we'll get an acquittal. You know, Will, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but typically, you know, lawyers would say, hey, they don't like having attorneys uh, being a part of the jury. But you got two jurors that are attorneys. And being some of this stuff with being, you know, so egregious in the courtroom, the back and forth and the rulings, do you think that benefits you guys in this case? Look, I don't think it really matters whether a juror is a, is a lawyer or a doctor or a truck driver or just about anything else. What I care about is are these jurors going to be able to be fair and objective? Uh, and again, I think just looking at the trial record here, the prosecution has just done such an abysmal job of attempting to tie together all these different acts and attempting to prove that some sort of crime occurred here. I think any juror who's objectively viewed the evidence is going to come to the same conclusion, which is that President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah, you like me and everybody else is still waiting for them to identify the crime. That would be nice before we get yeah. it over to the jury. Counselor, thanks so much. Appreciate you having me. You got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.